P to the O to the T L U C K potluck with Pricey. Good evening. Um, how is everybody doing? And I'm saying good evening because I'm filming this in the evening. So if you see it in the morning, good morning. Afternoon, good afternoon. Um, but for me, it's the evening, which is why it's a little bit darker today. Um, and I don't have all that stuff in terms of lighting. So I'm just filming it as I need to. Um, so first of all, I uh, hope you've had a, a good week. What are we on now? Week four. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been interesting. I've been busy. The reason I'm f um, filming this in the evening is because I've been cooking today. I've been trying to um, improve my my culinary skills, um, especially in my own like West Indian food. So I've been doing something called a spice bun um, and some saltfish fritters. Yum, yum. And something called Festival. So I've made all that today, which has been rather interesting and fun, um, but long, but fun. So um, before we move on, I just actually, yes, sorry. Part of the reason I've been cooking that is because somebody's requested it. And I just wanted to um, apologise for um, my auntie's little cameo role last week. That won't be happening again. Um, but thank you for kind of embracing her. Um, and uh, just, yes, yeah, so uh, apologies. Uh, so let's move on. So we had, uh, what did we do last week? We did Shiraz last week um, and I did a couple of films. Now, I can't remember. I don't know if you remember what I did. Let's see if you remember. Got it? Okay, let's do the second film. The second film, um, a little bit more recent, so you should be able to get this one. I'll give you the answers next week. Yeah, I hope you get that one. I'll give you the answers next week and you can work out how well my um, charade skills are. Yes, so did you get them correct? Well, the answer to number one was the Maze Runner. Don't know if you got that running. Okay, and the answer to number two, this was a little bit more difficult, was the Avengers Endgame. <laughs> watch it back and see whether you work out what my my skills were so this week i thought we'd do something slightly different um in terms of still going to do charades but i've been listening to a lot of music this week and listening to music while i was um uh while i was cooking um and i've been doing like fitness classes each evening sometimes two and the music just kind of got me in a really good mood um so i thought i was going to do something like a charade but with music with music and I, I thought it'd be too difficult to do lots of different um artists so I stuck to one so one that maybe your parents and yourselves might know quite well so I, I decided to do Michael Jackson so I'm going to do three songs I'm going to do it via the mode of physical charades um I'm going to do three songs by Michael Jackson I'm going to see whether you can work it out I'm going to give myself a bit of a time limit otherwise this could get on and on and on for ages so um let's do number one. So that's number one. Number two. That was number two and number three.
So there's your three songs. Let's see whether you get them right for next week, okay? Um, right, so those are our little um, charades. I quite like that. It's quite fun. Um, now, apart from cooking this week, I have been doing some crocheting. Now, I don't know if anybody knows what crocheting is, um, but it's like knitting. So, you, But with knitting, you have two needles. With crochet, you only have one needle. Um, so I've been doing a, a blanket I've been it's been growing over the over the week um, and I wanted to just show you a little bit of my crochet and uh, something that you might want to develop yourself uh, let me just see if I can get it for you without dropping everything so here is my wool and here are, is my needle so this is a crochet hook because I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit different from a knitting needle it has oh hold on this is what people do isn't it youtubers yeah so it's got a little hook on the end yep and here is my my blanket which is growing and growing it did obviously just start off as that little square in the middle which is nice nicely growing um and see if i can find out where i was here is my crochet this is where i was starting and you can just see that it's kind of just growing i'm just doing what they call a granny square just keeping it really really simple um and just doing a little bit of crochet now i can imagine that a lot of you are just going yeah that's boring um however um, it's quite therapeutic. It's something that, you, that for me, crochet is something that kind of um, you can see the results fairly quickly and it's fairly easy to do. Now, I can understand a lot of you won't have a crochet hook. So what I'm going to do, so you can see I've just done a little corner there. What I am going to do is show you how to finger crochet. Indeed. Hello. Um, sorry about that. Yes. Um, Finger crocheting won't be happening this week because I had a little um, accident. Yes, in going to get the wool to show you the finger crochet, um, I was listening to a bit of music. As I said, I like to listen to music to sort of chill out and relax and pass the time. Um, and I was getting a little bit excited. I was listening to a bit of jungle and flung my hands back and um, hit the wardrobe door, uh, hence the bandages. So unfortunately, you're going to have to wait until next week for finger crochet. And um, I think Auntie said that she might help out as well. And you know what? It's okay because I've had to learn very quickly that it's okay to accept help. So if in this moment in time you're struggling with something and you just need the help and somebody's offering you the help, gratefully accept it because obviously they're, they're doing it out of care and concern. So until next week, stay good, stay kind and stay safe. Peace out. Be to the ultimate deal, you see a potluck with prices.